Hey bird watchers, Devin here from In Pursuit of Birds. Today I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process so you can load software on a GoPro action camera and turn it into a bird feeder camera. By doing this little software adjustment you'll be able to catch birds as they fly in, take some seed, and fly out. I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process to update the firmware and then we're going to go and download an app on your phone called QR Control. With those two things you have really a bunch of possibilities of things you can do with a simple little GoPro camera. So stay tuned, we're going to go through it step by step. First thing is to go into Google and look for GoPro Labs. You can use the search bar, type in GoPro Labs information, it'll take you directly to this page. Now from this screen you scroll down, find your model GoPro, select the option and it'll take you to a download page. For this download page, click your download button. You'll see it appear in the lower left hand corner of your screen, and that's going to be where the file is. Wherever you designate the downloads to go is where they end up. I have a GoPro folder, and that's where this zip file ended up. Now we're going to unzip this file. It'll go ahead and create its own folder. The folder is called update. Don't change the name, don't change any of the files in it, just leave it be. You'll have these three files inside it but don't change anything about it. Now what we'll do is we're going to copy this update folder over to a micro SD card. So I have the SD card loaded, drag and drop the folder into the SD card, and we'll just let it copy itself over. Again, it's important just to leave the file called update. Update 1, update 2, update 3 will not work. If at any point you forget these steps, you can go back to the GoPro page and it tells you how to do a manual update. And it takes you through the step by step. Copying on the SD card, same steps we just did, unzipping, putting on the SD card, ejecting. And again, here's where it says if you look, it says do not change the name of it, leave it update. And then the actual physical steps of putting in the GoPro, which we're going to cover here in just a second. So here's the GoPro. Pop it open under the battery area. Pull out whatever SD card you have. I find it really easy just to use the other SD card to push the little file down and get it out. These are small cards file card comes out, SD card comes out, put the new one in, this one has the updated file update folder on it, push the f card down until it clicks, and now it's just a matter of turning on the GoPro. Again, this is a manual update. Other updates go through the quick app, this is off the card. Now when you fire it up, you'll see that it spins, gives you that setting gear, and the gear just spins and spins and spins. But what you'll see is the camera will turn on and off a few times, it'll be updated. It'll even say camera updated. One thing to remember is if the firmware changes, and your phone tells you to update your firmware for your GoPro through the Quick app, you'll lose this update and you'd have to redo the GoPro Labs update again to use the GoPro Labs software. So now I'm just going to take the old updated card out, update directory, update folder card out. I'm just going to put in a new blank SD card to record all the new stuff. With that, we should be good to go. The screen's washed out, but it says updated. And now we are set. Turn it on and off, and you'll see that it has a different. Now we'll just do a quick little power check. Make sure everything seems like it looks like it's in good shape. Off and on. And the camera fired up. We are good to go. After we download the software from GoPro's website, we're going to have to go through and use a app for your phone called, uh, it's called QR Control. Uh, you just type in all your uh, information and it makes a QR code 
which then you present to the GoPro and then it will use those settings. So you don't have to have that app, but it sure makes your life a lot easier. And I'll show you where to get that as well in the App Store. From the App Store, go and find QR Control. I use it here, I have to do a quick update, and you'll kind of get an idea. They seem to update this app too. Most recent was just back in November. This app makes QR codes so that you hold them in front of your GoPro and it picks up what the QR code says and it will start running a program based on the settings you've loaded through the app. So right now I'm just going to update. Here's an example of the QR codes and the different things they do. So at the top there's kind of an idea of the options. Let's go ahead and launch. Um, so here you see the QR code, basic options, this is mode, this is where you'd find your time lapse, video, photos, those types of options, frame rates, um, resolution, do you want a 4K video at 60 frames per second, do you want 4K at 120 frames per second, that's, that's where you would find that here, if you want to do photo burst, maybe you don't want videos of birds, but you'd like to have uh, 10, 10 shots per second of a bird when it shows up on screen, um, you'd set all that in in the mode screen. Um, I'm just going to kind of go through and show you that there's a lot of options here, but when it comes down to it, you want to be over in the motion settings. And motion, you want it in scene. There's some other options, which when the GoPro is in motion, it has an accelerometer in there and a gyro. If those get triggered, it would turn it on, but we want scene where it sits there and samples all the photos or all the frames as it takes a video and says this is the same, don't activate, but when a bird flies in the pixels change and the camera would turn on and start recording for the duration of how long that bird's there. It's important to hit the repeat button. The repeat button will make the more image captures. If it's not on, the camera will only take one video and then stop. By having repeat on, it takes multiple triggers and you're good to go. Lastly, you'll see there's a save button down here at the bottom. When you click the save button, it copies that QR code to your photos on your phone. And when you go to load your QR code, it'll sit there in the photos. There it is. And all we have to do is take the one we want. This one's labeled motion. We will set it in front of the GoPro. Power your GoPro on. Hold the QR code in front and you see a little check mark. Now we're live. Now the camera's going through, counting down for basically before it starts. And then what it'll do is it'll take um, several stacked images and say this is what the frame is. And anything that varies out of that, that regular frame is gonna trigger the camera. So you see a difference of four. Some's a little different enough that it says time to start recording. Doing any canceling, you just hit the shutter button and you're back to regular GoPro mode. That's about it. So here's my outdoor setup. I use a snap mount to balance the camera. The camera has a lens attachment with a um, macro lens attachment type thing to it. it. Changes the focal distance to about six to nine inches. So I have it set up for some bird seed. And now you can see the birds have started to show up, have it at a different angle, and each little activation, different trigger based on when a bird flies into frame. Looking out the other way, same thing. Sits there, triggers, and it's good to go. So that's just how easy it is to change a GoPro into becoming a, a bird feeder cam. Um, the key thing to remember is don't have a lot of stuff in the background moving. You'll, you'll not have good results because it'll keep trying to mask. And those pixel changes will, will trigger each activation. So you'll have several pictures of trees blowing, cars passing bird feeders waving in the wind, those types of things. So just definitely considerations. Very happy with this setup. You can see the resolution is high. Here's a hummingbird on an older version of GoPro. Same setup. 
triggered by the bird's movement, appearance and frame, changing those pixel rates. One thing I can say is if you have a light, a light background for the bird to trigger, you'll get a lot better activations. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you should have any questions or comments about how to use a GoPro for this kind of thing, just shoot me a comment, shoot me a question down below.